I want to take another uh, quick look at the gold market. Um, we got another uh, one of the um, flags um, this this weekend that suggests that we may finally be done with this, or not done, but we're close to being done with this long consolidation. Actually, a couple flags. Uh, one of them has been kind of ongoing, but <clears throat> um, as I stated in my last video, that when when you get this kind of a breakdown below a support level and it and it triggers just day after day of selling, that's that's what I I term that a, a, a bloodbath phase. Uh, that's the sign of final panic where um, you know, all the diehard gold bugs finally just give up, throw up their hands in disgust, and, and sell. And then at some point you just run out of sellers, and then that that's your intermediate bottom. And I, I you know noted that the reason this is taking so long is because the uh, the banking cartel is still stuck in a really uh, large short position in metals and uh, and they're trying to get out of that position well the the cot report came out on friday and uh, the uh, commercials have finally uh, exited uh, a big chunk of their shorts so uh, another potential sign that we're um, pretty close to a bottom um, as I've noted, these bloodbath phases, they tend to run five to seven days. This would only be day one, so it's not a buy signal on Monday. Uh, and what we want to see is we want to see more selling Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, you know, maybe Thursday. Maybe we bought them on the employment report uh, Friday. Um, and, it, and if that's the case, if we do just continue to see, it doesn't have to be big down days, but but we need to just keep selling off. Or if we do have an up day, it needs to be, you know, more or less just kind of a flat day where it just doesn't go down. But in general, we want to just see this selling continue, preferably all next week. And that should wash out all of the, you know, final diehard gold bugs. And and then at that point, I think I would be prepared to start buying for a much longer term bottom. And and uh, at that point, I think I could say that maybe that the handle uh, of this cup and handle pattern, let me widen the chart. All right. So, um, I mean, this looks like we're forming, a, you know, kind of a sloppy, but um, more or less a, a cup and handle basing pattern. The, um, it's not textbook. The um, price did go above the all-time highs uh, right here, but... But um, I think the pattern is probably valid. Um, this is a, a basing pattern, a consolidation pattern. Uh, and now we're, we're in the handle, we're consolidating. And uh, once the, this part of the pattern is complete, then I think uh, we'll start another strong leg up. And um, there's a, a couple of other, a couple of other um, sentiment levels I'm watching. You know, I'm, wa I'm watching actual sentiment levels, but I also have another uh, sentiment, um, uh, proprietary, I guess you would call it, sentiment level I'm watching, and that is uh, cancellations to the SMT. So a lot of my subscribers are gold bugs. They tend to be very emotional, very illogical type traders. Uh, you know, a lot of them are, are retail traders. And you know, they, no matter how much I beat people over the head to diversify their portfolio, um, th these people, you know, they are uh, laser focused on the metals market entirely. Uh, and they get frustrated um, during these sideways consolidations. And then the uh, more emotional traders, they, they give up and they, they cancel their subscription. They, you know, they assume that, that, uh, Gary's wrong and gold is not in the bull market and, and uh, they've been wasting their time. And so um, this is actually a, a very good sentiment tool uh, to tell you know the rest of us that, that are able to control our emotions and can think logically um, when we're getting close to uh, a, a major bottom. And so uh, during this bottoming phase uh, right here, uh, a, a lot of subscribers canceled their subscription uh, especially you know we get this little bounce and then we start to give it all back you know just tons of people throwing up their hands in disgust and then you know what happens is 
you know, they, they were the bell ringing that, that we were getting a bottom. And so that, that was the uh, signal for the rest of us to start buying. And then we, we get, you know, we ride this, this very nice rally here. And then the same thing happens here. Um, long drawn out consolidation. And especially in this, this period here where we're just bouncing around going nowhere. A lot of, a lot of um, gold bugs canceling their subscription. Again, that's the bell ring for the rest of us to, to start buying. And, uh, and we get another very nice rally. Same thing here uh, with the same result. And we're, we're getting it, you know, we've, we've been getting it here um, a bit right before this intermediate cycle. And then when the banking cartel came in and, and uh, drove this back down and stopped this rally, um, just... Um, you know, these these traders start panicking and, and they, they give up in frustration and uh, and this has been really accelerating in the last few days here and uh, you know and and like I've said I mean I, I've tried and tried to get people to um, diversify uh, into other areas so for example I've um, go over to the S&P so we, we got into long positions right in here. And, you know, if, if these people, if people had listened to me and put part of their portfolio, my, my suggestion was a third, a third, a third um, stocks, energy, metals. So, um, you know, if you, if you got in here, then this part of your portfolio is, is working very good. We, we, uh, you know, got in right at, at this daily cycle bottom uh, and have been riding this entire rally, except um, my suggestion was semis. So, uh, you know, we people that listen to me that control their emotions and weren't just focusing solely on on metals made a lot of money during this rally. And and even though we're in a pullback here, I mean, they're not even close to giving back much at all of these gains. The other area I suggested uh, was small caps. Again, same same thing. If, if these people uh, could think logically and would listen to me, then they have massive gains in, in this part of their portfolio while they're waiting for the metals uh, to bottom. Uh, the other uh, sector that I uh, suggested, and, and this is for a, a long-term hold, four to five years, because I'm convinced that the CRB has put in a final bear market bottom it, back in March, and uh, we're uh, in a long-term four, five, maybe even up to eight-year long bull market, and uh, and the um, oil stocks and oil service stocks have been hit, you know, really harder even than the mining stocks were. All right, so here's here's a, a long-term look at the oil service sector. Um, and, and as you can see, it, it's been in a, um, a severe bear market since uh, the middle of, of uh, 2014. So this sector is extremely depressed. And uh, I was, um, you know, as everything came out of that bottom in March, I was waiting for an intermediate decline in oil. Um, I wanted to see where that uh, where that decline went to, and then if it held the lows, then that would be our buy signal to get into some um, long-term positions in energy. And so, um, you know, we got in right, right in here. Let me convert this back to daily. So uh, right in here, uh, as we were coming out of this intermediate cycle low and uh, the oil service OIH has a very nice dividend. Um, again, if these people would um, listen to me and pay attention, then uh, the, you know two thirds of their portfolio is is performing uh, spectacularly while they wait for the metal sector to bottom. But um, I guess the good good thing for us though is, is that uh, these people are a a very good sentiment um, tool. When when they get frustrated and, and they all start uh, bailing. Uh, that that is our signal that it, it's about time to start uh, buying. 
uh, in the metal sector. All right, so um, uh, we've got uh, one potential sign here in, in that this may be starting a, a bloodbath phase. We've got another uh, potential sign in that the uh, commercials this week have covered a lot of those shorts that they've been stuck in, and, that, and that's the reason you know, that we've been getting these, these multiple attacks here is they're, they're trying to drive gold down so they can cover and get out of their shorts. Gold's in a bull market. They've got to get out of those shorts or they're not going to survive um, the bull market in gold. And they did that uh, to a big extent this week. And um, uh, if we continue this bloodbath phase next week, they're going to be able to cover a lot more shorts next week. So um, we've checked off that um, parameter. And then the, the final one is sentiment. And, uh, and that is uh, also ringing a bell. We're, we're getting a lot of frustrated, emotional um, gold bugs that, that won't listen to me about diversifying their portfolio into other areas. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're all in on the metals. Um, they're focused on one sector, and that sector is not doing what they, uh, they want it to do. And so they're, um, you know, they're, they're jumping ship and they're just like, you know, all of the ones that did, you know, these other consolidations and, and corrections, they're, they're setting up to miss the rally that's going to follow. And they are uh, providing uh, the rest of us with uh, a pretty reliable uh, signal that a, a bottom is uh, close and it's about time for us to start buying.